Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to the wonderful world of Dubious Engineering. Today, we're going to take a look at a new secure soldering iron that was kindly sent to me by Secure. <laughs> it comes in a lovely zippy pouch here. Uh, you get um, lead-free, ugh, hate lead-free, lead-free solder. Uh, you even get an XT60 style connector with a USB device on it so you can plug it into your RC battery packs and that kind of stuff. Uh, and it has a little uh, sponge and stand with it. What I wanted to say first off about it is the technology in these irons is just completely different to how it used to be. This is a beautiful little line, lovely high-res display on it. Um, this is a TS100, which is a fantastic iron by Miniware. Um, but look at the length, look at the distance where you have to hold the iron and use the iron tip. Whereas with this secure device, you can get your fingers right down close to the tip of the iron. Uh, and then here is one of the early secure soldering irons here, which has got an LED display on it. Um, and yeah, this is actually, this has been a good go-to iron. I've used this a lot. I've used this TS100 here a lot, and I'm looking forward to getting used to using this soldering iron here. One of the things that I adore about the uh, secure soldering irons is they have a direct USB-C input in them, straight into the back of it here. Uh, whereas the TS100 has a DC barrel jack going into the bottom of it, which makes life a little bit sort of more interesting um, to, I mean, obviously with this, you just take a standard cable and just plug it straight into a, a 65 watt uh, USB-C PD uh, power source. And amazingly, yes, you get with the kit a 65 watt USB-C PD device. Uh, sadly, it comes with... Um, uh, American uh, adapter on it, but uh, yeah, no biggie, no great shakes. Just get yourself a get yourself a little adapter so you can plug it into the mains. So the benefit of being USB C PD is uh, 20 volts at 65 watts. Uh, and that is really quite significant. Uh, it's so much better than the old sort of five volts at two or three amps, if you were lucky. So this iron is not underpowered, let's put it that way. Uh, this was the previous model, which was the D60 model. Um, and this was a nice soldering iron. It's been used quite a lot by myself, actually. But ultimately, you, you're, you're holding the iron here and you're doing the soldering way down at the tip end here. Uh, whereas with this now, you're able now to hold this iron much closer to the actual heated tip. So that's a really nice feature of this iron. And, and I will say the, the, the weight and the comfort and everything is really quite pleasant in the hand. Uh, the display on it is really quite magnificent as well. Here's another thing <laughs> that's quite interesting. If I just unplug it, and plug it back in, you'll hear a little boot up tone. <laughs> it's not very loud, but indeed it has a piezo transducer in it that makes a little tone. So with the TS100, um, which, which is by Miniware, again, you're holding the iron way out here. Uh, there's a lot of distance between your uh, iron tip and your fingers which sort of uh, it doesn't impair the control but it does make control of the iron just a little bit more difficult but uh, but yeah this is this is nice um anyway um let's just have a quick look at the tip itself uh, so the tip <laughs> it's beeping at me it's beeping at me because i've pulled the tip out <laughs> it says check tip right okay we'll just unplug you for a minute otherwise you'll keep beeping um so this is quite interesting we've got a, a center pin a middle uh, a, a telescopic middle housing here and then a telescopic outer housing here so the tips are different now and the, the the actual tip itself looks lovely by the way it just looks like a sort of standard soldering tip and it's got a little bit of thermal mass here as well just to sort of give you uh uh, a little bit of soak away heat so that um, so if you do stuff it on something big and fat and juicy, you don't end up with, with the inability to be able to heat that thermal mass. Anyway, right, let's get this back in the iron. There we go. All nicely shoved in the hole. And plug it back in. This is quite interesting. It says it's 26 degrees down here at the moment. If I hold the tip, let's just see, does that warm up 
Yes, it does. Look at that, 27 degrees. It's coming up to temperature, 28 degrees. It's it's got a really nice thermal sensor uh, in the uh, in the tip of the iron, 29 degrees. Right. Okay. First heat up. Let's do it. So let's press, press and hold. I haven't read the manual. There we go. I've pressed. And, oh my goodness! It says it's up to 300 degrees already. That is incredible. Let's just get some of this horrible lead-free solder. Ah, there we go. Yeah, right, fine. Okay, so I've asked it to achieve 300 degrees and I'm holding it here on the on the heat shield. Um, and, and strangely, that's sort of working at the moment. And uh, we're melting solder very successfully. I wonder how long... I can definitely feel some warmth coming out of this. But to be honest, just so close to the tip at this point, this is just fantastic. You're right. I mean, you're an inch away from, from an inch and a little bit away from what you're trying to solder. This is going to be brilliant. This is going to be a magnificent iron. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little tripod out of this cable here. And it's quite a thick cable. Uh, this is uh, how many strands? Probably 12 12 strand cable and uh, yeah that's uh, that's quite a quite a thick lump of cable there right let's get some of this uh, let's get some of this solder on it and see how this iron performs I'm gonna hold the iron horizontally so hopefully you can see the tip temperature we can see that the tip is indeed melting solder and then let's connect the tip to that thermal mass. Come on now. Now what's interesting is the, the, yeah, I'm really putting quite a lot of solder on here. I'm really creating quite a large thermal mass for this iron tip. But it does seem to be, it does seem to be handling it. Yeah, I'm tempted to say that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's not penetrating very well at the moment. Uh, it might be, you know what, that might be just, <laughs> might be down to the, the flux and the solder that we're using here. I, I, oh, God, to be honest, I just hate lead-free solder. Right, let's, uh, let's let all of this cool down. We'll do another test in just a second here. And let's get some of this leaded solder melted this is um a rosin cord obviously leaded solder so let's get a good load of this in the joint oh yeah there we go yeah and with a decent bit of leaded solder and a decent bit of um rosin core solder just makes all the difference it really does look at that boom and we didn't even see any uh, change in temperature here. This has handled things beautifully. Uh, I just don't, I don't enjoy that. I just don't enjoy lead free solder. So, um, let's just pop off uh, a little bit more of this cable. And then let's just go properly let's just do this properly with leaded solder and show you and show you the difference between leaded and lead free solder joints so and there we go look at that just beautiful shiny joint yeah honestly the difference is is the difference is so visual it's 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 unbelievable yeah, let's just have a quick look here at these solder joints. So you can see this has got a sort of a dull grey, uh, almost looks like a uh, like a dry joint over here. And this has a lovely, lovely, bright, bushy tailed sort of sheen to it. Uh, obviously, that leaded solder is far better than using lead free. Uh, maybe not for the environment, but as far as sort of visually and perhaps as far as the joints go, I would say leaded solder is so much nicer and so much easier for the home hobbyist to use as well. I've left the iron alone here. I've not touched it for a few minutes and it's dropping the temperature down. And as soon as I pick up that iron, 
and move it. Whoops. And this, <laughs> sorry, I, I lost it. And as soon as I pick up the iron and move it, boom, there it goes. It's, it's back up to 300 degrees in a half a heartbeat. I didn't get a manual with this. I'm sure you can download a manual online. Right, so P is the programmed temperature. So up here it says P program temperature. So I'm changing that now between 200, 250 degrees. I generally tend to have my iron set to sort of uh, between 280 and 300 degrees. Uh, and it's showing us obviously that things are plugged in. I believe this little line in the middle here is a power a power meter or a power bar. If I press and hold this button here, we go from work to stop. Uh, so stop just means uh, turn off the iron ultimately. Uh, and if I press and hold the button, it says work. Fantastic, okay, good. So that makes a lot of sense. Oh, oh wow, here we go. Uh, iron, idle, OLED, volts, calibration, about oh my goodness right so the temperature steps set to 50 degrees centigrade i don't like that i'm going to a, a whoops factory reset turbos buzzers on temperature shield on <laughs> temperature compensation right so let's go with this here and yeah let's set this let's set this down to sort of 10 degree steps i think that makes a lot more sense but yeah there we go so 270 250 230 right 230 250 270 yeah now we've got it now we've got it set up just about right uh 350 so yeah now we're moving by 20 degree steps which is exactly uh what we asked it to do so yeah this is looking uh, uh, sensible but it does take a moment or two to sort of get your ouch just to get your head around it i said ouch because uh, i touched the tip but actually it's only 60 degrees it's um cooled down relatively quickly which is nice to see anyway ladies and gentlemen this is and, and it actually comes with this lovely little cable as well look at these leds on all the electronics in the uh, usb c pd cable anyway what a fantastic little iron made by a secure not just the iron but you also get this lovely sort of little travel case companion with it which i mentioned earlier all zippy uppy um and you get solder with it an xt60 cable this this beautiful uh, cable comes with it as well this USB-C cable here as does indeed a 65 watt USB-C uh, PD power supply secure thank you very much for sending me this iron I know it's going to get a lot of use uh, ladies and gentlemen thanks ever so much for watching do take care have a wonderful week and weekend and we'll catch you in the next one cheers and beers folks bye for now